In this video, I'm going to tell you about my current Australian ETF allocation for 2019. Last year, as you may have seen in my other videos, my first crack at ETF investing involved 25% in Vanguard's VAS, an ETF that gives you a low-cost exposure to the top 300 Australian companies, 25% VAE, a good way to invest in the Asian markets, excluding Japan, 25% VGAD, and 25% VGS, both of which provide a low-cost way of investing in the world's largest companies, the only difference being that VGAD is hedged to Australian dollars to counter the effects of currency fluctuations. After visiting China over the new year, I came back to Australia thinking that I didn't want to invest too heavily in Asia anymore. Not because it's a bad investment choice, not at all, but the turbulence involved in the Asian markets of late have put me off somewhat. According to Vanguard's website, VAE is suitable for buy and hold investors seeking long-term capital growth, international diversification, and who have a higher tolerance for the risks associated with developing Asian economies. As it turns out, I don't have a very high tolerance for fluctuating Asian markets, so that's why I decided to ditch it. I also decided, in the name of keeping things simple, that I would simplify my entire international portfolio. Instead of having three ETFs, I would cut that down to one, VESG, that is, the Vanguard Ethically Conscious International Shares Index ETF. According to the Vanguard website, it is suitable for buy and hold investors seeking long-term capital growth through exposure to a diversified portfolio of international shares that excludes securities with significant business activities involving fossil fuels, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, military weapons and civilian firearms, nuclear power, and adult entertainment. It has a decent management fee of 0.18%, Combined with VAS's fee of 0.14%, this is a very low-cost portfolio with investment in both Australian and global companies. I chose to increase my exposure to the Australian markets to 35%, mainly because most advisors recommend approximately this amount. This is mainly due to Australian franking credits, which are basically a tax rebate to shareholders who receive dividends which have already incurred company tax. It's used to prevent double taxation. Looking at the top holdings of VESG, we can see that many of the big American and European companies are represented. Some of you might be asking, are these companies really ethical? And I would say, no, they're probably not. Well, at least, not in the strictest sense of the word. When it comes to ethical investing, ultimately it comes down to what the investment company define as ethical. In this case, Vanguard have decided that fossil fuels, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, firearms, nuclear power, and adult entertainment are not ethical. As you may have seen in my recent video titled, Amazon Australia Warehouse Worker Drones, People Pretending to be Robots, companies can be unethical without involving themselves in gambling, firearms, and tobacco. If you treat your workers poorly, then in my opinion, you're not very ethical. However, if we're too strict on ourselves about ethical investment, then in all honesty, we wouldn't invest. The capitalist world that we live in is, by its very nature, exploitative. We can choose to invest in it, or we can choose not to invest. Whether we invest or not, whether that be ethically or otherwise, will probably not change the world significantly. Coal companies will still mine coal. Gambling companies will still try to rob people of their money. The only benefit I see in choosing a so-called ethical ETF is to send a message to the big companies. If enough people send that same message, then eventually companies will listen and slowly change their practices to meet investor demand. And that's what this ultimately boils down to, supply and demand. Anyway, if you don't care about the whole ethics of investing, then you could easily swap out VESG for VGS, Vanguard MSCI Index International Shares ETF. According to Vanguard, the ETF provides exposure to many of the world's largest companies listed in major developed countries. It offers low-cost access to a broadly diversified range of securities that allows investors to participate in the long-term growth potential of international economies outside Australia. Don't get me wrong, VGS is a great investment. If you don't care about the ethics, then this would be a perfectly good investment option. Taking a look at the top 10 holdings in VGS, it looks very similar to VESG. 
Comparing them side by side, they're almost identical, the main difference being that the Swiss food and drink manufacturer, Nestlé SA, has been swapped out for the American multinational oil and gas corporation, ExxonMobil. You're basically switching bodily fuel, Milo, for vehicle engine fuel, gasoline. Consequently, VGS and VESG probably perform very similarly to one another. So anyway, that's my 2019 share market investment portfolio. In terms of returns, VAS has performed at an average of 7.62% per annum since I first bought into it back in January 2018. That's pretty decent considering that last year was a fairly turbulent ride. It should be noted that I used dollar cost averaging throughout the year. That is, I actually made six separate buy orders of VAS of about $5,000 each at fairly regular intervals throughout 2018. With regard to VESG, I only bought into it this year in January, and I've already had average returns of 42.15% per annum. That's not because I'm a genius or anything, that's just because I got lucky. It should be noted that the actual return over about six weeks was 5.31%. But that's still really good. I couldn't possibly earn that amount of interest in the bank, even over an entire year. Taking a look at the recent performance, you can see that VESG had a big dip at the end of last year, but came back again in 2019. This is approximately when I bought into it, hence the large returns. Anyway, that's my 2019 ethical portfolio. And I do use the term loosely. I know that VAS still has a lot of unethical companies in there, so Vanguard, if you're listening, an Australian ethical option would be fantastic. As I said, you could easily switch out VESG for the more popular VGS, and that would be a perfectly good option. So what are your thoughts? Does ethical investment catch your fancy? Does investing ethically actually motivate companies to be good corporate citizens? Or is it just one big pile of BS? Let me know below.